three young kids, no adult. They just didn't appear right. Right now, an Eyewitness News exclusive, a Meriden police captain really in the right place at the right time. He's being praised for helping to shield three young children during a brutal crime. Captain George Del Mastro was out patrolling and saw the kids hiding in the bushes on a very cold night. And as Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo tells us, he jumped into action, not knowing at the time that there was a murder. And uh, for that hour of the night, I thought it was uh, odd. Police are trained to be on the lookout for any situation that seems out of place. On March 20th, Meriden Police Captain George Del Mastro zeroed in on exactly that. Evening, and I was uh, driving around patrolling on the east side of Meriden when I saw three little kids between two bushes, between two businesses. On East Main Street, right by the atrium condominiums, he says he found a 12-year-old girl with her two little brothers. And she had a brother six and four, I believe, and uh, she was taking care of them. Noticing more closely how they were dressed. It appeared like they were ready for better. He pulled over and heard something even more unusual and frightening. Right there, I heard gunshots, but in that area, I wasn't sure if it was fireworks, gunshots, or car mufflers. He got the kids into a patrol car to safety and out of the chilly air. He says he even took them to McDonald's to get something to eat. While he was comforting the kids, he talked to them and learned more. And she uh, told me what had happened at the apartment and how her mother told her to leave the apartment. I got the uh, sense that something bad was happening. That sense, honed over the course of 25 years of policing, proved unfortunately true. Though Del Mastro's observation got officers to the scene before 911 calls started coming in, Meriden police say the children's mother, 37-year-old Dominique Curtis, had been shot and killed by someone she was dating. Her body found in the driveway of the atrium complex. Police say the suspect, quickly identified as Tyrese Worthy, took off. He ended up dying by suicide on April 5th, as federal and local authorities were closing in with warrants for his arrest. It just didn't seem right. You know, it was a gut feeling. In law enforcement, it can take days, weeks, even years to learn what exactly caused those out of the ordinary situations an officer might spot. It only took a few hours for Del Mastro to learn that the three kids he saved from the side of the street were left without a mother. You, know, you always wish you could have got there sooner. Having found them while on a normal patrol, the most unexpected thing Del Mastro says is the bravery of a young girl. The person who deserves the most credit is the 12-year-old sister who got her brothers to safety and uh, kept them safe. In Meriden, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.